Let's start. In this video, we will be discussing problems regarding steady and unsteady flow processes. A steam turbine receives steam steadily at 10 bar means it is a steady flow problem and with the enthalpy of 3000 and the discharge is at 1 bar with the enthalpy of 2700. The work output is also given. The change in kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible. We have to find the heat transfer to the surroundings. First we want to convert the problem into diagram and we want to write the given data. It's a very simple question. Everything is directly given in the question. And also in the question it is clearly mentioned that it is steady flow. So we can straightly apply this steady flow energy equation for this problem. Now hope you have, have remembered this equation for steady flow energy equation. So just apply this equation to solve this problem. Here it is given that the kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible. Means we should not consider the velocity value and uh, the elevation z1 value and z2 value. We should neglect, neglect these values. As I said earlier uh, that uh, ஏதாவதுங்க we have to just substitute the given data and do the simplification and you will get the answer as i said earlier if any of the data in the formula is not given mean we have to just substitute zero if in some cases if they do not mention that we have to neglect the kinetic and potential energy means then at that time we have to find all these data problem Work is done on an adiabatic system due to which its velocity change from 10 to 20 and elevation increases by 20 meter. So it is increasing. So Z2 minus Z1 is 20 meter. And temperature increases by 1 Kelvin. The mass is given that is 10 kg and CV value is given it is 100. And G value is also given. So if there is no change in any other component of energy of the system means the magnitude of the total work done on the, on the system is that's we have to find out so write the given data here is a 2 minus z1 is 20 so this is the velocity 10 meter per second which is v1 at the inlet now we have to find out the work done on the system means it's an unsteady flow process so we can apply the equation for unsteady flow process that is energy coming in minus out is equal to change in total energy that is here it is adiabatic so q is equal to 0 change in total energy so we need to find the total work so we want to consider the change in total energy so that is del E simply we can find out by using first law of thermodynamics so I have already derived this equation for unsteady flow process in my previous video so you can check it so change in total energy means it's a sum of change in internal energy change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy yes here we want to consider the potential energy also because there is a change in elevation so we have to find the potential energy also so internal energy can be found out with the formulas mcv delta t and kinetic energy can be found out using 1 by 2 mv square 
and formula for potential energy is mgh so i am just writing it given the number total work that can be you know that number total energy consider upon wrong normal a very work on what get on a internet in the answer of an apple so potential energy can be written as mg into z2 minus z1 so the first thing is you have to be very very conscious while reading the question and after that we have to write the given data and after understanding the problem clearly you have to apply the formula and we, you can get the answer easily so after solving you will be getting 4.5 kilojoule that's the end of this video thank you for watching